So I uh, just wanted to quickly uh, follow up on um, the. Uh, I've been just about to look at Ed Dutton's interview on Millennial uh, there on Wednesday night, and um, in the video description, I uh, said that uh, some of what he discussed and um, the YouTube algorithm gave me an idea for something to quickly talk about, and. Um, uh, Dutton was basically talking about um, how uh, there was a religiosity to um, uh, how um, COVID or the experience of the pandemic was um, was progressing. You know that um, you know it had uh, its religious texts, high priests, and adorations. I, I find it very convincing. I mean. Uh, the key point here, of course, is that um, uh, in a kind of post-religion world, or um, well, post-religion world, um, the the need for a belief seems to be manifesting um, in this in this regard. Uh, except, you know, it's got an entirely secular basis. And um, uh, Dutton started digressing then about how um, uh, it was easily lapsing over into the whole uh, climate change as a as a source of worship as well, and that then you know segued very very seamlessly to the uh, extremely you know uh, anti procreation kind of. Uh, Ethos at, at the heart of a lot of this rhetoric. If you actually, if you actually listen to a lot of it, um, and he uh, he digressed briefly about uh, you know how much antinatalism and that type of uh, movement or um, view is, is 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 very prominent within a lot of these uh, groups. And I, having looked at a lot of it myself, I would tend to agree with him. But it would really, really give me a great um, bit of nostalgia for um, the old YouTube New Atheist community circa 2009 to about 2011, 12, because they were uh, really hitting the old anti-natal, anti-natalist uh, uh, buzzer back then as well. Anyone looking at this stuff here know uh, that it was familiar with that era. Will surely remember in Mendham, uh, a very grumpy and misanthropic uh, YouTube content creator who was kind of the progenitor of these long form, just rambling 20, 30, 40 minute videos where he'd, he'd either just be talking straight to camera or he'd be taking some other video content, filming it in front of him from the screen and commenting, pausing to comment. Uh, a ferociously intelligent individual, I mean, make no mistake at all, but just his entire ethos is just riddled with his own, his own bias, which was clearly that he was obviously profoundly depressed, you know, and uh, and that that was that that was the the ground that that was the central ground he was always speaking from. Uh, and you know you, you see it recycling itself again now um there's the there's the kind of as i've said in the previous video the, the whole thing of claiming that people are thrust into the world without their consent uh such a meaningless uh yet you know superficially convincing enough point to try and same sort of profound, but it, it's it's the uh, you know I, a developing fetus has no frame of reference for something like a concept like cons consent. It's it's so meaningless to say it. If you want to talk about it in a thought experiment kind of way, okay, I can see a small bit of value there. You know, but that that's and um, uh, but it's it's this sort of. Um, fanning compassion for people that, that seems to be the big thing uh, but uh, it's really it's just kind of self-hatred as far as i can see and quite a lot of it too um uh, 
usually tacked onto something like veganism or sort of radical environmentalism as well. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a ghastly little stroll down memory lane. I took. I couldn't help responding to a few comments in some of the videos I was looking at. Just you know, one person who claimed to be training as a psychologist, and I was basically asking. So if you had a female client who was talking about looking forward to maybe giving birth or raising a family, would you not feel conflicted then to train? You I mean you essentially consider that position of your client to be an immoral act? How would you respond, you know? A bit of gibberish as a reply, you know. Uh, but yeah, symptomatic of, um, or that's just one subset in the larger, you know. Should we say malaise, I suppose, that, 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 uh, that is, is, is permeating at the moment. Um, but, you know, um, you shouldn't be afraid to interact with that kind of um, thought process as well. Uh, it is out there, there's plenty of it. And it's probably very convincing to young people, possibly. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But um, no hard to be aware of it. Uh, I'll throw a link down below uh, just to give a little bit of description of, of the main points of antinatalism anyway. Uh, I was half thinking of sticking up uh, that lyric from uh, Deacon Blue's Real Gone Kid. Maybe not Baby as a video title, but it just seemed to me to be crass beyond endurance. So I uh, try and think of something a bit more uh, less crap than that. So uh, I, just, I think we might get 10 seconds now of the gently lapping whales before I sign off. But uh, thanks for listening.